In this segment of the tutorial on Turnitin and detecting AI-generated content in submitted student papers, I'll demonstrate how the instructors can review the similarity score along with the AI score for plagiarism in Moodle. So we go here to the assignment, to the Turnitin assignment, and typically you'll have a report with a listing of all the student assignments that have been submitted. For test purposes, I have uploaded this as a student for only one of them, so therefore we see only one score here. Now notice in this case it shows only a 2% match with resources on the web, and typically we were not concerned for low scores. However, with the emergence of ChatGPT and other generative AI technologies, now it is more than ever important to review the, those low scores for AI detection. Click on this blue bar here. If the score is, by the way, uh, high, then that uh, uh, color will be yellow, orange, or even red. And now notice on the top right, we will see the detection score. So notice it shows right here number two and it will tell us where portions of this assignment were plagiarized from or potential content that might have been retrieved from. The assignment prompt, if all students are including this as part of their assignment, the prompt, then this will be common to everyone and therefore this will be detected and uh, determined that this was plagiarized content. So that's how it will detect. So there'll be typically for more than one um, detected, there will be additional numbers and resources here. And you're simply going to review what was submitted. Now further down, now notice there is this option for AI score. So if you click on it, it will give us an overview of what portions of the assignment were potentially generated using AI technologies. Now, as of the time of this recording, Turnitin claims that it can detect with 98% accuracy. And also the reason why they don't include the AI detection score as part of the overall similarity score is because they are stating that you as the instructor needs to use judgment before accusing a student. So you need to review what potentially was submitted and uh, plagiarized by the student. But according to AI here, it's determining that this section right here, it was generated using artificial intelligence. Now in another assignment that I ran the test, it actually detected even more than this. Now this part down here, this is of the potential student work and notice it didn't grab any of that portion of the assignment. Now this part down here, this was 100% generated using AI, but for some reason it's still not foolproof because this part was 100% generated using AI. So as you can see, it can help, but apparently it's not 100% accurate and you need to use your judgment as well for this. So there's uh, a disclaimer here as well from Turnitin. And then there's a section here also how they detect it with more information. If you want to go through the tour on how to use this, so notice there is also this guide. It shows you the percentage, how they determine that then it will show you the content that was potentially plagiarized and it highlights it and then also how you can go about deciphering what it detected. This most likely will improve as time goes on. However, the important thing here is for you to configure assignments to utilize Turnitin because you can see this uh, AI generated score even though in some cases it may not be 100%. One other thing to note as well is that the students do not get to see this score on their end, as I demonstrated on the previous video. Now, one other thing to remember here is that once you go into the AI-generated report, 
you'll have to go here to the original tab to get back to where you were earlier. And I'll, another feature while I'm here is that you can actually grade those assignments directly from Turnitin as well. If you configured those assignments as associating them with a category in the grade book, and you can do the grading from these options over here, the blue area, where you can uh, utilize the quick mark options, various tools here, and I'll make a different video for this component. And also you can utilize various snippets of content or feedback and reuse those as part of your grading work. Or you can even define and use a rubric for grading this particular assignment. You can create a new one or utilize an existing one from an existing paper. And I'll do a different video like I mentioned earlier about this. Once you are done, you can enter a grade here. Hit enter. And the grade, if you're using it in conjunction with a gradebook, this will then pass, uh, be passed on automatically to the e-learning gradebook in Moodle. And notice the grade has been passed on to the e-learning gradebook. So I hope you found this helpful. Stay tuned for additional videos related to using Turnitin, particularly the part on how to grade assignments using the Turnitin tools. If you like this video, please press like, subscribe, and then click on the bell icon.